These CHD nozzles are no secret anymore. Everybody knows about them, everybody has seen them. Uh, most of you have tried it. It's a awesome performance and it's a really good nozzle in terms of uh, performance because you can boost your hot end very easily with those and that's what we like, more flow. Give us more flow, we'll be happy. <laughs> and, and these nozzles are just right there doing that job because it is splitting the filament, as you can see here, in three, and it's gonna give you more, more contact surface between the filament and, and the nozzle. So that is a very good idea that has been produced by uh, Bontech and Solex. I think that's what the name is. And it, it's really great. It's in brass, and this one is coated, and I really, really, really love those. They are my favorite nozzles. The only thing is I also really, really, really love to print with carbon fiber material and some abrasive material because it looks great, it's strong, it's stiff, and it's easy to print. And yeah, I just, I just love carbon fiber stuff. So um, those are not good with carbon fiber. They will wear out very quickly since they're brass. And uh, that's an issue. I know Bontek is working on, on some uh, abrasive resistant nozzle. I don't know if they will be in, in um, stainless steel or hardened steel, but uh, I've heard they will not do tungsten carbide because tungsten carbide is a very hard material and it's very, very hard to machine. It's expensive to machine. So Bontech Next thing is the steel nozzle, I guess. Um, we'll know more about it later. But for now, there's a new guy in town. And, and this nozzle is something really awesome. This one is in tungsten carbide. And I really love tungsten carbide simply because it's abrasive resistant. It will never ever wear. Um, it's good for life, basically. And, and you can blowtorch that thing to death hot red glowing hot red and that's the way i like to clean them once in a while when they stop doing good prints you just blow blow torch them and boom you install them back and they're like brand new <laughs> and it, it, it's really awesome this one is sharing a bit the same id as the the bontech chd it's giving more um surface uh, contact surface between the nozzle and the filament inside and they do it with a different id a new approach to uh, that same concept of of giving more surface contact contact surface sorry and i'm showing you here some images some footage of the internal geometry of that awesome nozzle the designer of this one is called um rentable sock and he's on Discord on the Annex Engineering Group. He's also in my VZ but uh, Discord server. And he has sent me this nozzle. And I've been playing and towing with that nozzle since uh, two weeks. And I only have good thing to say about this guy. Um, I have another tungsten carbide nozzle that he's given me uh, probably six months ago. And it's another 0.5 tungsten carbide, except it doesn't have that internal geometry. It's a normal uh, nozzle without anything special besides being tungsten carbide. And I love this nozzle. It's been on my VZ butt 330 since day one. And uh, I've beat the crap out of it. I've run multiple, multiple spool of carbon fiber stuff. I've torched that nozzle multiple times and it's still going and it's still like brand new. But this one is really interesting and I'm going to be able to compare it with, with the Bontech one. We're comparing brass with tungsten carbide, but um, we, we never know. I, 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 will, I will run some tests and I will let you guys know um, how, how, how it works. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a, a very good performer and mostly because it's, it's just a go-to nozzle for every kind of material. You don't need to swap nozzle. You install that guy right in and you don't remove it. You, you, you stick in there and it's good for uh, probably for life. So thank you very much, Rentable Suck. And uh, the reseller for that nozzle is a uh, 3D Printing North or no, North 3D Printing. I'll put a link in the description down below. And uh, I, 
yeah, it's a bit expensive because um, you look at it, it's very, very hard to machine because it's so strong, but you only buy it once and you keep it. So I, I don't think it's that expensive for, for what it does. And it's just simply good. <laughs> it's very good. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to see my comparison uh, between the CHT nozzle and this one. And uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do a full video on, on, on my, my test and the, the comparison between the two, but for sure I'm going to give you my, uh, my review on that nozzle and how I like it, how it performs, and, and that's going to be very interesting. So we have another option, guys, that, that if you're like me and you love printing high speed with carbon fiber, this guy is probably your, uh, your must have. And, and for me, that, that was the nozzle I was waiting for. And someone created it and, and I'm really happy. So on this, I wish you all a good night and uh, see you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody.